plaintiff, Christopher Trotter, was married to the defendant, but he says they got a divorce after the defendant became a stripper. After the split, Christopher claims the defendant gave him full custody of their daughter, and he's suing her today for child support. Defendant Kiara Trotter says Christopher has a dark side, and he's obsessed with power and control. And as a result, he abused Kiara throughout their relationship. Kiara claims Christopher is now physically abusing their daughter, and she's countersuing for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. First and foremost, it's a pleasure to meet you, Judge Mathis. You're a big fan of my household. We look at you as unk. Thank so. you. That's right. <laughs> Uncle uh, Judge. <laughs> Uncle Greg or Uncle Judge? I hear that from time to time. They say unk. So I'm like, do they say Uncle Judge or is it? No, it's unk. It's just unk. Yeah. <laughs> it's unk. Go ahead. Um, first and foremost, uh, it's an honor mm -hmm. to even present this case to you. Uh, so just getting off on the background. Um, I'm a full, I have full custody of my daughter, Your Honor. Um, Since when? What age? Uh, 2013. What age was she? Uh, she was actually five, five, five years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well. Or six, I yeah, got or it. Or six, yeah. I got it. <laughs> yeah. I'm off one year every right. blue moon. Every blue moon. I'm bad with birthdays. I'm off one year. <laughs> I have four and two grandchildren. Oh, I see, so six. you know. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well, I've been a father since day one. And uh, Kier, she pretty much been playing a friendship role and instead of a mother and my Tell daughter. Tell me about you all's relationship first and what led up to the child and then you sole custody. You want to give me some background on yes, the sir. relationship? Uh, it actually started back in high school around late 05, 06. And we was in high school and 07, she actually got pregnant with my daughter. At that point, she- um, <clears throat> I was we, 19 or something uh, after high school. After high school, yeah, yeah. uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, so after high school, we did move, got an apartment, everything was great. Um, around 2012 was when we kind of had our separation. Um, what happened? We had got married in 2012, and shortly after, in uh, 09, I had some infidelity on my end, and when we did get married, sad to say, I did wait till we got married to kind of let it out and let her know, hey, I just want to commit myself to you at this point. You know, I love you. You the person I want to be with. But at the same time, I did have an incident, you know, back then. But it's no more, you know. And from here, I'm willing to be give my all to you. And at that point, Judge, she, like, put a brick wall up on me. And, like, it just got bad. Like, she got into the nightlife real hard. She got into exotic dancing. She wasn't coming home. And... At that point, your wife became a strip. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. how old was your baby? Uh, my baby was five or six. Okay. And uh, because you cheated, you believe that's the reason? I believe so because she always was classy. About that. She was always classy. People do what they want to do, and sometimes they wait on the opportunity. That's right. To do it. That's right. And I always say when women or men, when you retaliate, or you say you retire, I wouldn't have sex with such and such to get you back. You get aroused by such and such too. Don't forget that part. Right. So if I did nothing wrong, such and such, can st you still get aroused. Your hate for me don't make you aroused by somebody else. That's my point. Right. So that always kind of confuses me when a person <laughs> says they only did it to get you back. Well, I'll try to give her the benefit of the doubt. So she went stripping, and how did all that, what did all that come to? It, uh, horribly, actually, because uh, in 2012, she actually wrote over a notarized letter giving me full custody of my child at that time. Cause you asked, or you all had no, a fight she, over it? No, it was no fight. She was unstable. She didn't have a house. She was kind of couch hopping at that point. And I wasn't with that. As a father, you know, I, I don't want my daughter just kind of house hopping, you know, and... It just was 
bad things that my daughter was coming back saying to house me. House hopping. Strippers make money. She was a broke I'm talking about house hopping stripper. as far as like with the pillow. Like she kind of resting her head wherever she can lay. That's my point. But if you making money, you'll get your own apartment That's as right. strippers do. That's right. Strippers I've seen and observation and my understanding is they make pretty good money. Uh, I don't know what kind of money Never she heard of a stripper couldn't afford her own uh, place. You're in the wrong business. She definitely didn't have her own place. I don't she believe that. Now getting yeah, I don't place. believe. He lying. Stop. Uh, Stop lying on her. <laughs> <laughs> it have an incident, you know, back then, but that's no more, you know. And from here, I'm willing to be give my all to you. And at that point, Judge, she like put a brick wall up on me, and like it just got bad. Like she got into the nightlife real hard. She got into exotic dancing. She wasn't coming home. And at that point, your wife became a strip. Yes, sir. Plaintiff Christopher Trotter is suing his ex-wife who claims she filed two restraining orders against Christopher after they separated because he was harassing her and slashed her tires. Go ahead, let me hear from you, ma'am, <laughs> background. Yes, Your Honor. Um, as Christopher said, we did meet in 2005. Unfortunately, in 2011, we did decide to get married. Um, things started out well, as he said. Um, unfortunately, things did progressively get worse over time. How so? About what? What was um, getting worse? As you can see, Christopher does a great job as presenting himself as a smart and charismatic guy, which he is. But what you're unaware of is that behind closed doors, he does have a dark side about mm -hmm. him that is obsessed with power and control. Mm -hmm. um, throughout our relationship, he was very controlling and abusive towards me. Mm -hmm. Um, he would... Physically? Was he physically as well? As yes, sir. Um, if I didn't I mean, do exactly... How often was he physically abusive? Um, it would be instances where we would get into a fight, but then I would kind of minimize his abuse in my mind and then he would always get me back in his I know graces. but how often I would say every couple months okay every couple months for how long for the mm, I would say about the last five years of our relationship every couple was months worst. for five years yeah he physically abused you yeah he well he would how do many things. times you called the police well, he would do things like punch holes in walls, break things, right, you know, things on. like let's that. Well, let's move um, So eventually I did get the courage to leave Chris. Uh, things escalated uh, so much so that I did have to obtain two restraining orders. What else? Uh, okay. What did he do? Against Christopher. Um, he did multiple things. He uh, assaulted me on one occasion. He, um, I also have a court case where I pressed charges on him for harassment. He was clashing oh, my gosh. tires. He was slashing my tires. He T-boned the car that I was riding in. He assaulted me. This is after um, you broke up? Yes, okay. after I left. And then he also um, was threatening to kill me. He did plead guilty to that case, which I do have here. Um, the dancing that he brings up was after we got separated, I was moving couch to couch because I left everything that we had built together just to get away from him. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have anything. I left it all and I took my daughter with me. Mm -hmm. I did begin dancing because... I don't know. I was just trying to come up with some money. I was trying to, you know, make That was make the only way you yeah. thought you could? I, it, it was How not. How long did you do that? It was not. I don't, uh, about three years. Why so long? It was off and on. Just whenever I was you between didn't jobs. Other, you didn't want another other option? I did. I worked other jobs. I, just, I, I know did you that said as well. about how you were concerned about what your daughter saw. Yeah. yeah, but she didn't so know I was, I was dancing. You... Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, I did. I did eventually get the money to get my own apartment. Good. But I put all that behind me. Good. So I'm not really concerned about that. I, I've let that go, but what I'm not willing to let go today is the fact that he's also controlling and abusing our daughter now. What is he and, doing? Uh, he is uh, hitting her. He believes in corporal punishment, okay. but it's gone beyond corporal what did punishment. Your, what did the child services say? Uh, CPS. Uh-huh. Uh, they actually said that the case was unfounded because he did. They called him so first. you called to have it investigated yes. and it was unfounded? Yes, because okay, he let's actually... let's go to the next issue, ma'am. Oh, else? okay. Yes, um, but... That's unfounded. I'm not going to let you say something that they've investigated and it's unfounded. What else yes. you have? Um, he did coach my daughter to lie, but I do have uh, pictures here. And do you here. have anything that proves any of this about him doing something yes. to his daughter? Yes, I know I do. couples do whatever. Yes, I do. Now I you're have... saying he abused physically abused yes, yes, and sir. otherwise abused the child. Yes. Anything to confirm that? Yes, sir. What I have, have I have um, a letter that my daughter wrote to me specifically. I also have no, a I'm video. I'm saying by an agency or you have one of her, oh. him striking her? Yes, after he be here with an extension cord. What page? It is. I hope you're not still beating with us. Oh, page it's 19, page I see 19 something. Page 19 and 23. Also on page 24 was a bust to lip, Your Honor. Sir, what do you say? Absolutely not. What happened? Uh, 
there were some things that was going on as far as uh, my daughter uh, getting an Instagram account. I told her I, I didn't allow the Instagram account. Uh, there was something else that uh, came about my daughter taking pregnancy tests and posting them on TikTok. Whatever, I believe you did it. I'm looking at pictures that you did it. Why didn't you get your daughter back from me? I tried to call uh, police in... No, over the years. How long has it been since he's had your child? He's had it for a while, but the abuse did not start until um, February of 2020. Well, when aside he from the Texas. abuse, why didn't you try to get your child back? Because we were doing fine with parenting. I was there. I was getting her every weekend. Oh. I was getting her holidays. I was getting her summertime. Okay. Everything was fine until he, 2020. And you February. didn't want full custody. I did, but we Most were mothers do, but I was just kidding. Yeah, I did, but what it was is he's a, a lot more financially stable than me, so okay. I, what it was is I guess I was intimidated by not being able to afford a lawyer and actually face him you in court. You couldn't, nobody was making it rain? <laughs> no, I know, that was a, almost... You was a poor stripper? That was almost you were seven, a low-income stripper? No, no, you well, not. Well, discounts? No. So why didn't you have any money to take care of yourself? I, I've i never met a stripper that didn't at least I, act like or say or look like they made six figures. No, I do regret not going back to court and doing the custody, but he has a way of, we, 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 we do friends and then we fall out and it, for a while- He has we were, a way of what? Tell uh, me. Making friends and we were doing good with, we were doing well with the custody and I have no problem with him you being You feel you doing well. You keep saying we were doing great Up because I didn't have to keep her. Got it. You can see Christopher does a great job as presenting himself as a smart and charismatic guy, which he is. But what you're unaware of is that behind closed doors, he does have a dark side about him that is obsessed with power and control. Mm -hmm. um, throughout our relationship, he was very controlling and abusive towards me. Mm -hmm. um, he was physically was he physically as well? As yes, sir. Plaintiff Christopher Trotter is suing his ex-wife, who claims she filed two restraining orders against Christopher after they separated because he was harassing her and slashed her tires. All right, go ahead, sir. Tell me what you're talking <clears throat> about. Just to back up a little bit, for one, she was a, a personal banker at a Wells Fargo. She had a good career. Sir, that's, all right, that's all right, why I'm asking all you right. what you're here for. I know game when I see it and when I hear it. All right, all Let's right. Let's get back to you. I'm um, suing her for child support, actually, Your Honor. Um, uh, child since, support? Yes, yeah, since 2013. Uh, I was granted full custody of my daughter. Got before. that. And you abused and, her, it appears. Uh, Physical abuse. Go ahead. And uh, at that... Men need to understand, ain't no more whooping. The whooping days are gone. You know, this is back in the day. I got a whooping with an extension cord at least twice a week. And the other three days, it was the switch. Right. That I had to go and pick myself. Right. Out of the rose garden. Right. Got rose dents, indentions and blood and iron and cord, all that. Yeah, that Time was 60s and 70s change. and some in the 80s. That's over, sir. You go to jail for that now. Right, correct. All right, so let's get back to the child support issue, the issue at hand. You all had these issues between each other. I'm more concerned with the child. That's she why I'm referencing this abuse. And I would hope that you have been held accountable for this abuse because it looks like it occurred. And I'm inclined to think that you did it. And she says, the daughter says you did it. And I'm looking at evidence. I got a CPS <clears throat> order that came right after that. Uh, and they actually came out. I didn't have no issues, uh, no problems or none of that. All of that was unfounded, sir. And, where the bruises come from then? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know where the bruises come Well, then that's from. negligence in and of itself. Your child come home with all kind of whips, all kind of lips busted and everything else. And you say you don't know what happened. How long ago was this? June 3rd, Your Honor. Huh? June 3rd. June 3rd. Yes, sir. And that so was... almost six months and you still don't know. Good enough. Tell me about child support so child I can get y'all out of here. Y'all don't uh, care about this child. Uh, Go she ahead. Was, uh, she was ordered to pay $50 a month for child support. Uh, since then, she's made three payments. And, since when? Uh, what year? 2022, just uh, April, May, and June. Three payments and that was it. Of 2020? 2022. Sam, what do you say? I say that I'll take responsibility for that. I have not fulfilled my uh, legal obligation to pay child support. Why not? And all I can do is just be honest. Why not? To be, to be honest, there's no excuse for it, but I'll give you where my $50 mind was at. $50 a month, right? $50 yeah, where my mind was at, I didn't like get. how he was using my daughter as uh, holding her over my head, okay. and I just didn't want to give him the satisfaction, and I'm, I am Give him the satisfaction, it's for your daughter. Yeah, because I do take care of my Ma daughter. it's for your daughter. I buy her everything that well, she Why are you referring for? to him? I buy her everything that she asked for. No, why for. are you referring to him when it comes to child support? It's for your daughter. 
No, so I you know. didn't want to give him the satisfaction. I know. That you was... should say you don't want to give my daughter the satisfaction. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I understand that now that we're in court, I can't prove he can sit here and say that I've never bought her a thing, even though I have. I also send her money. I have a parent no, account. Whatever you bought, you have not fulfilled your obligation. You're right, and I accept that. I know the extra candy, that's beautiful. Fine, candy, tennis shoes, what they cost, $20 for a that's kid. It. $20 yeah, tennis shoes, parents. candy. No, we want that $50 a month to help offset the her living expenses. Okay. Minimum. That's the minimum. I didn't even, I haven't I changed it. that. Added $50 a month is a very low amount. And that's why I say, ma'am, the game stops here. You giving me that. Counterclaim for $5,000. How does he owe you? Um, I was suing him for a counterclaim for emotional distress because of the abuse that he's doing to my minor child. I know how she's feeling because I've dealt with him myself. He has, I've, he's cut off communication. I can't when the child is removed from the household by an investigation and an authority, then you can come back for emotional distress. Until then, I can't grant you anything. You've had investigations. You're talking to the police. You have all this access to you and nothing has been done. The child is still with you. Correct. Right, and you think the life was so great. We have a great life. We had a great life, and, but, and I didn't have full custody of my child. I rarely heard a woman say that, very rare, probably 10 times in my entire life. So Judge, you're the 10th time that I hear a woman say life was great because the man had that full was, custody. That was before have the divorce. Have a good day. Judge me for the plaintiff. Your claim is dismissed, ma'am. I just hope that after today, we can come to a common ground and you can do something for your daughter. And step as soon as up you stop as a being parent. there, I will.